Now let's look at an interesting thing that a couple can do to a force system. Now, look at these three pictures right here on top. This is a rigid body, you know, whatever it is, okay, any size and any shape. Now, I have a force, F, apply at this point right here, okay? Now, I have this position, R vector, that okay, measure from this point O to where the force is applied, okay? So this is my picture, okay? So this is the applied force. Now, this picture and this, this picture can be equivalent if I add the same force, okay, at this point O, okay, but I add also the opposite force at the exact same point. So these two actually cancel out, okay? So I'm adding something, subtracting something, so I'm really not doing anything, right? So these two pictures are equivalent, okay? So, look at this now. Look at this force right here and this guy right here. Since this is F, this is also F, except that this is now in the opposite direction. Okay? So this is actually a negative F. So these two form a couple. So these two together become a couple. Okay? So these two is exactly this guy right here. Okay? So these two together will form a counterclockwise couple, therefore, in this direction. Okay, so let's call it M naught. Right? But once again, the moment created by a couple doesn't really have any point it is taken about. Okay, so it's really irrelevant. Okay, but <clears throat> in general, it's called M naught. Right? So these two are the same as this guy. So what's left over is this guy right here, which is exactly this. Okay. So these three pictures are all equivalent. Okay. Let's do an example. I have this rigid body right here. Okay. Uh, this this is the odd shape, you know, the object. Let's say this <coughs> uh, it, it's pivoted at this point O, so it can be you know, it can be rotated. Right? Now, I apply three forces. One here at the end of this, at this handle right here, and two at these two locations. Okay. The goal here is I want to reduce these three forces into one single force so that these two scenarios have the exact same result same effect on this rigid body. Okay, so this is the original picture, okay, with three forces. Now the distances are given. Okay. I'm going to reduce these three forces down to one single force. Okay, just so that this one single force has exact same effect as these three forces. I'm going to find the magnitude of the force and the location where this one single force is applied. Okay, so you do that by using this couple characteristic. Okay, so looking at these three forces right here, you recognize that these two forces <coughs> are the same force. Okay, same magnitude anyway. 200 pound, 200 newton, 200 newton. Okay, one going to the right, one going to the left. Okay, and they're separated by a distance. Well, how long is the distance? Well, you know that this radius okay, of this circle is given as 0.06 meters. So, the distance between these two forces is twice that, right? It's the diameter, so it's 0.12. Okay. <clears throat> so, we can immediately just draw the first equivalent uh, to this by okay, replacing these two forces with one single couple, okay, moment couple. Okay. So this 400, I'm not going to touch it, okay, so this stays at 400. But these two, I'm going to replace with, well, it's a clockwise moment. So one single moment, call it M, 
am, or am not, okay, but am not, I'm going to call it, uh, let's say this is F1, okay, F1. So we're going to call it am not due to F1 couple, okay, so am not 1, okay, so couple movement from F1. And the magnitude is? F1 times the distance between them. So F1 times D, which is 200 times 0.12. Alright, so twice of the radius. So that's uh, 24, so 24. Okay. Uh, that's new meter. Okay. <coughs> So this system right here, these three forces, is equivalent to this picture right here. One force and one couple. Now, <clears throat> I can go further, right? Again, the goal here is reduce these three forces into one single force. So, <clears throat> next thing you can do is this guy right here. Now, look at this right here. Okay, this force can be shifted, right? So this original force F can be shifted so that it becomes in this position if we add a couple to it. Okay, by going through this route, right? We add something, subtract something. So let's do that next. Okay, so the next picture, right, I'm going to keep this M not one. Okay, so this M01, I'm going to touch it. But this 400 Newton, I can shift it by adding, by adding a pair of 400. So, I'm going to do it here. 400 down, 400 up. See, they, they cancel out, right? So, I'm subtract something, add something, so I'm not really doing anything. And then I'm going to keep the original 400. Okay. So now we get this guy and this guy. All right. These two. They're the same force, 400 newton. They're parallel and they're separated by a distance. Okay. Which is 0.15 meters. So these two now form a couple. Okay. And what's left over is this guy right here. So, so this picture is equivalent to this right here, so M01 stays there, this 400 stays there, these two now become a couple, so it can be replaced with another couple, a second couple, which is again a clockwise couple. So, I'm going to call it M02, right? Um, I'm going to call this F2. Okay, so it's U2, F2. Okay, so <clears throat> well, M02, the magnitude can be calculated, right? So this is F2 times, let's say, D2, which is F2 is 400, D2 is 0.15. Okay, whatever that is, right? Okay, so look at this now. Again, the goal here is reduce this whole thing down to one single force. So, let's see. Now you have two couples here. Maybe we can combine them, right? So, two couples, the same direction. So, just sum them up into one single couple. Okay? So, and not total or result. Okay? And not R for that. Okay? So that exactly goes to the sum of all the couple moment, which is M01 plus M02. Okay. And then this 400 stays the same. Okay, we're getting really close. Keep going further. So from here, do another one. Now, <coughs> this couple right here, okay. We can do something to it. 
by looking at this picture again, except now we're going to go backward, right? So from here we go from one single force, okay, add a couple of more forces, right, and then end up with one force and one couple. Now here I have a couple, okay, as this like this couple right here. I'm going to go backward, so I'm going to split this couple into two forces, right, which is these two forces right here, okay. So Draw the 400 newton here, stay the same. Okay. And this couple right here is exactly equal to a pair of forces. Right? And exactly equal to this force and some other force down, let's say, this way. Okay? And these two forces, let's say this F, since I call it M not R, so it will make sense if I call this force FR. FR. Okay? Just so that these two forces are equivalent to this one single force, uh, couple moment. Okay. So, you have a moment, okay, which is equivalent to these two forces, okay, which is a couple, right? So, I want to find the exact location of that one single force in the end, okay? So, what I need to do now is let's figure out the magnitude of this force couple right here, right? So, or the couple moment right here, right? So, I need to calculate this the second moment first, right? So that's 0.5 times 4, so 0.6, so that's 60, okay, in meters. And the first one is 24, okay. So the total is 84 newton meters, okay. So this 84 newton meters, okay, is equivalent to these two forces, these two, oh, this couple right here. So, eventually, I would like to come up with just one single force. Somewhere. Okay? So that this picture, original picture, is equivalent to this final picture. Okay? But here, this is like the second last step, right? And we're really close. See, this FR, it can be anything. This FR magnitude can be, can be any number, okay? What would make a difference is the distance between them, okay? It would depend on the choice of FR. So that this m not r would be equivalent to these couple right here, like these two forces, okay? So FR is your choice. Okay, but to simplify it down to one single force, well, that one logical choice would be making FR 400 so that these two cancel out. Okay, so that in the end, this is the only thing to survive. So, this is my FR right here, okay, which is 400. Okay, so this, now we know, single force, right, called FR resultant, is 400. 100 newton. Okay? So that's our answer, but that's one part of the answer. Second part of the answer is where is it applied? Well, right here. Okay, so we need to find out this distance right here. Let's call it, uh, let's go to D3. Okay. So, which is this D3 right here. Alright, so let's plug in the, the number, right? The, uh, the equation for moment. Okay, so a couple moments. Okay, equals F dot D, right? So this moment of not R, okay? So FR times D3. So this is 84, right? Equals FR, which is 400 times D3. So D3 equals 0.42. Okay? So 0.42 meters.